This is my 2021 Model S Plaid and I am officially selling it on Cars and Bids. So the main question that you guys are gonna be probably be wondering is why am I selling? Well, my Cybertruck is almost here and that is the reason why I'm selling my Model S Plaid. Who knows, I might have one in the future because this has definitely been my most favorite Tesla that I've had. Now, let's go ahead and first go over some of the modifications that I've done. So the first thing, as you can see, is what I did is I applied this KPMF uh, Envious Green Vinyl Wrap. Put this on about six months ago and I applied it over the PPF that was already on the car. So this whole car was PPF'd when it was brand new and then at about 30,000 miles, I applied this vinyl wrap. What I also did is I painted the calipers in a gold finish with a 2K clear, and the stickers are actually under that 2K clear. And some other modifications that you're not really gonna see on any other 2021 plaids is I upgraded to the Matrix headlights. These started on the 2022 late Model S's. So these have fully functional Matrix headlights the software has been officially updated and the car fully recognizes these as matrix headlights. And there was no splicing of wires or anything like that. Now coming to the rear, what I did was the updated tail lights as well. So these right here are the updated tail lights. Oh, the auto front just opened. Look at that newest update. So these are the newest tail lights. Uh, these were put in, these are actually plug and play. You just need a config change. So those are in and it looks awesome. The charge port, if you'll notice, what I did is basically on the new tail lights, you have this one big section, but on the old ones, it was two sections. So what I did is I took that reflector and made it to two pieces and now this is the charge port. Now another thing is this car was actually having some screen issues when I first got it and at that time Tesla recently updated the MCU so what they did is they actually replaced the MCU in this with the upgraded 16 gigabyte MCU so this has Steam so you can play Steam games on this one most 2021s don't have that unless you pay for the $2,000, $3,000 upgrade to the MCU. And then another thing that I wanted to show you guys, if you go ahead and sit in here with me, this, this car also has the swivel screen. So if I go ahead and go on here, it is completely integrated. It's fully OEM, everything. As you can see, it closes, goes right back to center. Then if I wanna go back to me, I just click, there we go and it goes right back to me. So this is fully OEM, all OEM parts. The car fully recognizes it and everything. It's a fully OEM retrofit. It's just not something that Tesla has been offering, but if you have somebody that you know, they can activate the configuration file for it. And then also I have the updated 2.0 yoke. Uh, so this is brand new and it has the horn on the airbag here. And then we also did some ambient lighting. This is something that I installed absolutely love this ambient lighting it is just absolutely amazing it's on the dash here and then it's also on the door right here and then we also have some 20 percent tint uh from here back that's just one other thing that i did and then this car will also come with a winner set of wheels so i have the 19 inch stock tempest wheels those have a brand new set of nokian uh, winter tires on those so those will also come with the car if you're somebody that decides to pick this up and the summer set right now is the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's and these are actually brand new I just put these tires on and this car also has uh, camber spacers in the rear at the upper camber arm um, to help with the inner tire wear uh, because basically a lot of the plaids and Model X's, they have issues where it'll get inner tire wear. So I installed those, got an alignment, and now that now that's fixed. So hopefully there should be no future tire wear issues. And then also you'll see right here, I have the Rally Armor mud flaps. These are definitely the best mud flaps 
uh, for your Model S just because it doesn't rub on the paint or anything like some of those other ones do. Next up, I wanted to talk to you guys about why this has been my favorite Tesla so far. So one of the reasons why I actually, one of the reasons why this is my favorite Tesla I've ever had is because it's got two screens. And this is something I might miss with the Cybertruck. This has a screen here, and then you've got a screen here. Only the Model S and the X have that, and the tilting screen. That's definitely something that I'm gonna have to bring into the Cybertruck once that becomes available, um, once somebody makes a mod to tilt it, because this is just amazing. And then another thing that I love on the interior is just the overall interior of the Model S and the X. Feels, it's hard to explain, it feels like this is like you're in a small home, whereas I feel like the Model 3 and the Y kinda just feel like an appliance or a car. This, when I get into it, I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel kind of homey. And then another thing that I love is the yoke. I actually thought I might not like it, but I actually have grown to really, really love the yoke just because it gives the interior a bigger look. Now, another thing is the ventilated seats. I absolutely love these seats. It's just, and it's great that Tesla's upgrading the seats across the board because it absolutely had to be done. But I, I just love the ventilated seats. It's something I could not go without. So I'm glad that the Cybertruck has that. So the Plaid has been absolutely amazing. I love launching this thing. We'll have to launch it in this video. It is just amazing. It is mind blowing. I never thought something could be faster than the Model 3 Performance, but this is without a doubt way faster especially on the top end now some cons some issues that i've had with this car is first i have had some door handle issues so i believe the driver's side door handle was replaced in the winter um and i don't know maybe it's just something to do with up here in the winter but it had a lot of issues during the winter but once it gets a little warmer it seems to be fine but tesla replaced it anyways now I've also, like I mentioned earlier, I had some screen issues where the screen was black and Tesla replaced the MCU with the new upgraded MCU. So now it's been perfect and it's got a brand new computer unit inside of it. And other than that, that's all the issues I've had. Um, it's definitely a little bit more than the Model 3s and the Ys that I've had, but Tesla is taking care of all of it and it's been absolutely amazing since. Now, if you guys are, of course, looking at this listing on Cars and Bids, I want to walk you guys around it and show you guys some things that I might want to point out. Um, so one thing that I would want to point out is the mirrors are wrapped black. Um, those, I thought, gave a good contrast with the wrap. So the mirrors are black. You've got a black portion down here that I did on the front bumper. And then you've got a satin black Tesla logo there. And then the sensors were individually wrapped. We didn't go over the sensors. We individually wrapped each sensor. And then, like I said earlier, the calipers were painted in a uh, gold, a gl gloss gold. And then the only other thing is, I don't know if somebody scraped me in the parking lot or what happened, but there's been like this, there was this little scratch down here. And with the wrap, with the PPF, I don't think it even came close to touching the original um, the original paint. And then also you might see this line here. This is because there's PPF under the wrap and then there is the wrap and then there's PPF again. So this side right here just gets destroyed with the Model S because this sticks out. So that's why there's just triple protection here and that's why there's this line here. And then other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and go for a drive. Um, but this Model S has just been absolutely amazing. And I really hope it goes into the right hands and I hope whoever gets it really does enjoy it. Also, just wanted to show you guys, there's no issues right now at all with the air suspension. I've never had any. Raise it to high right now. It's very quiet. Especially like, I mean, all Tesla air suspension is really quiet. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in low here. And we are going to go ahead and take it this way. Now also something that you guys might notice, this plaid is actually very, very quiet inside. 
I mean, most of them are, but I actually put sound deadening in all four doors. I also put it in the uh, quarter panel walls under the fender liner and the front fenders as well. Um, so this plaid is definitely a bit quieter than others. So to put it into plaid mode, get it set to launch, we're gonna put our foot on the brake, foot on the gas. The front end is gonna lower, and as you can see, preparing for launch, front end is lowering. Ready to launch. <laughs> Mama Sita. Wow. Absolutely crazy, a fault, flawless launch. And to be at like 43,000 miles and everything to still feel so smooth is just absolutely amazing. And what's even crazier in this car is like the 40 or 30 punches are just absolutely crazy. Like I'm gonna go ahead and punch it right here at 30. Now I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how the ambient lights are changed. It's just an app. It's called Magic Car Light. You're gonna open that up. It's gonna connect to Bluetooth. And then you can just change the color. It's not actually tapping into any OEM Tesla wires. It's all wired really cleanly from the doors to the center console to the cigarette lighter port. So you never have to worry about any possible wire issues in the future because it's all you can just unplug it if you need to.